hey guys it's some t codes and today i'm going to be showing you how to implement google login with firebase in your applications this tutorial is some sort of a continuation of my former video where i showed you how to log in and verify uh, with phone numbers but today I'm just going to dwell on uh, google i'm going to be copying some things uh, from my other tutorial at the later end of this tutorial so i would suggest you might just take a look at that and then come back to this let's get on with it navigate to your firebase console and click on authentication make sure that google is enabled in your signing methods now i've already done that before so i'll just redo it again and click on save now when you do that uh, the next thing is going to be to add the dependencies so i'm going to go to docs guides just to see the documentation of the google signing and there's it the dependencies i copy that paste that in my app dependency level so when you've added the dependencies you just sync your project Now for this activity, I would implement the Google API client and import the method that listens for when the connection to Google fails. So I'm just going to do that. Google API client on connection fail listener. Then I'm going to implement the override methods. There you have it. And one thing I like to do is just to place a comment on where my own creates and so i'm just going to do that i'm just going to list some of the things i need up here one of the things we'll be needing for this is the google api and also we're going to be needing the firebase authentication client so i'm just going to list them here and you can see the error just import the class of that then other things I'm gonna need is um, I just put a tag so that I know if when I get an error or not on this activity login activity then I also need an integer let's just call it um, RSC signing okay so that's that's that and the next step would be to initialize some of these things i listed up there so i'm gonna initialize my firebase authentication and just before i continue i'm gonna head over to the documentation because most of the job has been done by someone so uh there's a guideline to do that so i'm just gonna go to the documentation and see how they implemented theirs and see what i could copy and what i shouldn't now to implement the google signing option i'm just going to copy that and paste it here now this is what um what triggers the google signing to start so for these errors you're just going to what need to import the classes for that okay that's that then I know I should initialize my Google and get an instance of my Google API client. So I'm going to head back to documentation and have a look at what they've done. Let me search for that. Looking for the Google API client. Uh, where are you? Where? Okay. So that's it here. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, paste it in my code here and put this class or better still what i'm gonna do is um put the both of this in a method i'll call this method um initialize google plus settings then i'll create a method for this and paste that there so this get called when this is called okay now with that uh, what i need is to set an on click listener for my google button so i'm just gonna put that here 
on click listener new on click listener i'm gonna put a method here that will be called when this button is clicked create a method for this and i'm gonna head back to the documentation to see how they called up the google sign in so what i need is to call an intent to the api to the sign in api so i'm just going to copy this good i just need to send an intent to that so i'm going to copy this and paste it in the method i just created so when i click on the button it calls up the intent to google sign in so when that intent is run now there's a method that gets called after the intent is completed so which is this i'm going to copy this override method to my android studio <coughs> sorry and then anything that shows an error i just need to import the class now after that is done it gets to call this method now if your google account is actually correct it calls up a firebase authentication method so which is gonna pass in the google account that was verified and pass it to firebase and firebase now goes ahead with the authentication so i'm just gonna put a comment here to show what really happens Now the next thing for me to do is to go back to the documentation and uh, copy uh, what actually needs to uh, perform the Firebase authentication and that's it, that's it here. So I'm just going to copy this when we pass the account then it uh, runs an authentication so I'm just going to copy all of this head back to my Android studio and I'm just going to paste it here now of course i passed in account spelled a c c o u n t and I'm looking for account so i'm going to change that a c c t now import this class import this class import all the classes it needs to be imported now i'm not using update ui method i can see and that is firebase so i'm just going to take it off Now, what you need to put here is what you feel or what you want to kick in when the authentication is completed. So I'm just going to have a comment here. So what I'm going to do is um, at the end of this tutorial, if the authentication is successful, of course, it shows a, load, um, a loading screen, then it takes the person to the main activity. So I import this class. So we just update UI. Of course, this uh, activity is wrong because I'm using login activity. Okay, I'm just gonna add a toast message to say authentication failed, authentication was successful. Then I'm just gonna paste an intent I copied from my uh, previous tutorial. 
so it takes me to the main activity i think i just take that off i'm gonna run this if it's successful we're gonna see the main activity page okay so you can see the google accounts that are available click on the one you want then we should have a login a loading screen there then there it is now we've logged in on my firebase console when i check the number of users i should see uh the google account that I just logged in okay that's it look one other good thing about logging in with google is you could get the person's name the phone number if they have and other details so i'm just gonna get their name you can see other things we could call that so i just get a display name then i would like to pass this to the new activity now you could choose to do whatever you want with this you could just save it in a shared preference and use it in all activities if you want but for this tutorial i'm just gonna just pass it to the next activity i'm not saving it to any shared preferences for now now you can pass uh information using um bundles so i'm just gonna put this into a bundle and send to the next activity now on the activity which is receiving the bundle um, that's the main activity i'm just gonna get the bundle that I just sent which is the username define the bundle here then I'm gonna just get the bundle then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna display it on screen where we had the hello test I'm just gonna change it to the name of the Google account that just logged in so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just quickly going to define or give an ID to my text view which I wish to change. I define it here. Of course, you could do whatever you want with the name and stuff like that, but for this tutorial, that's what I'm doing. So, just, uh, well, let me just make this three, text is three, and uh, go back to my phone activity. I'm just copying. Um, if you were, if you watched my last tutorial, you will see that I have a, a loading screen. So I'm just gonna copy that to the login activity I'm working on now. Copy the layout, the loading layout. Put that in my login activity layout. So what happens is when uh, the the Google sign in or the Firebase authentication is running. We're going to see uh, a loading screen after which when it's done will automatically be moved or taken to the main activity so i'm just going to quickly rush through that and uh, show you guys how that works okay so i think that should be it hide view login screen i'm gonna test it and see how that works out okay let's see click on the google button choose your gmail yeah that's the loading screen and there it is that's the name and that's it guys thank you for staying to the end of this tutorial if you loved the video give it a thumbs up and if you don't well thumbs down and uh, for more videos like this uh, just simply subscribe to my channel 
and for anything you would like me to improve on and work on please leave it in the comment section below i've been getting a lot of requests to do some videos on uh, profile de um, ui design so i'm going to be working on a profile design for you guys and uh, hope to see you guys next week bye